Hi everyone, I'm Sundray9. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. Where is Rosa? I'll use Meteor. I'll have my revenge! This tower is guarded well. Rosa, where are you? That's what people are thinking. We're now on floor 6. This is pretty straightforward, as you can see. The map's already brought out. End game. Why are you frame rate dropping? Please don't do that. Impressive. Golbez. Where's Rosa? The crystal first. Rosa is safe? Never more so. Now, hand over the crystal. As promised. Relinquished the Earth Crystal. Release Rosa. Rosa? Whoever would that be? What? He's been playing us for fools all along! Your words are as twisted as your soul! I have no business with you, old man. Oh, but I have some with you! The business of the father of a murdered daughter! Golbez, Antawa is not messing around! He's just gonna take Golbez himself! He's tired of him! Furaga! Pulling out the big guns right off the bat! 2911! Feeble old man! Feeble? That was a heck of a spell! What can you hope to do to me? Uh, continue to blast you with high-level spells. Thundaga! Another very damaging spell. 2,461 damage. Blizzaga! Pulling out all the big guns. 2,508 damage. Just time has come at last. No! Tell all you mustn't! You'll be the one it destroys! So be it! Let my life fuel the spell that ends his! Meteor! 9,999 damage! <clears throat> Impossible! That's a heck of a spell, isn't it, everybody? <laughs> oh, what's wrong, Gobez? You just took tons of damage from the wise sage. Although, how wise? You, how could you know Meteor? Tella! Regardless, the Earth Crystal is mine. Come, King. So, the old man's interference severed my hold over you. No matter, your purpose is served. Do not think this affront will be forgiven. You'll not escape this time, Golbez! You try my patience! <gasps> Why? Why now stay your hand? Your... You, but how? We will finish this another time. Cecil! You alright? Yes, I'm fine, but Tella... Thinking I could best him, you shouldn't talk. I brought this on myself, letting hate consume me so. Please, avenge Anna. Tell her. No! Come on! Open your eyes, you old fool! Oh, Tella. 
rest then with that daughter of yours. Tella, we will avenge your death and Anna's. I swear it. Obtain the recall augment. So we could just have somebody recall spells. That's that's very interesting, actually. Hmm. Golbez, why not finish me off? Tela sacrificed himself body and soul to that spell. Stubborn old man. You had to go do and you had to go and do it, didn't you? And unfortunately, the Sage Tella gave his life to cast Meteor. He did a lot of damage to Golbez. Even broke his hold over Cain, apparently. And a Sage until the very end. He recognized that he let his hate consume him and went, went too far. So you're wondering how he was going to cast Meteor with only 90 MP? That's how. As the sad music plays, which is always a powerful tune uh, all throughout uh, Final Fantasy IV. For Sage Tella, we will avenge him and Anna, just like our great paladin Cecil has said. You! Kick! Stand up! Kane! Cecil! Uh, for forgive me. What have I done? Gobez held sway over your mind. None of this was your doing. But I was conscious of everything. Rosa, she... I... Rosa! Where is she? Above! Quickly, we have no time! Cecil! Rosa... I knew you'd come for me. I realized the moment you left my side. Rosa, I... Oh, Cecil. Goodness gracious! Things are certainly heating up in here. Cain? He is, him he is himself again. Forgive me, Rosa. Not all of what I did was because of Golbez's spell. I just wanted to keep you... to keep you by my side. Cain... Why don't you join us in our fight, Cain? Rosa, Cecil... Please accept my apologies. Hey, we don't have time for this right now. We need to get out of here. Kane, let's go. Cecil. You'll help fight you'll help us fight Golbess, won't you? We could use your help mo now more than ever. Certainly. Thank you, Cecil. And you, Rosa. Rosa and Kane have joined the party. True, true friendship right there. Of course, Kane feels differently about Rosa. You can't tell, but... Doesn't look like it's meant to be for our Dragoon. Oh, Rosa, you're alright. Thank goodness, Kane is himself, Kane is himself again. 
Why did that Dragoon fall under the enemy's spell? I actually know the answer to that, but I'll say it at the end of the LP. We gotta get back to the Enterprise! Cecil. Rosa. Can you ever forgive me? You'll have to earn it, Kane, but I think they can. Now, as you can see, you have uh, a full party of five again. Sid, Kane, Cecil, Rosa, and Yang. While you would think you would want Kane in the front row, and you really do, honestly, he can jump and not lose damage from the back row. Whereas Yang, Sid, and Cecil need to be in the front row to keep their full damage. So we're going to keep with this lineup. However, don't move an inch. Kane is packing. He has his wind sphere. Wind spear. The sphere? <laughs> Maybe he throws spheres at people, everyone. No. His wind spear. Attack of power, attack power 55, and also has the wind element. This will be important. Do not change his weapon. He comes with full mithril equipment. He has a mithril shield, a mithril helm, mithril armor, and mithril gloves. Kane's ready to go. On the other hand... Ro oh, wow, Rosie, you kept your equipment. Awesome! Wow! I didn't expect that. Uh, <laughs> in uh, the older games, all she would have would be uh, clothing. I think it was like a prisoner's clothing at that. Uh, something along those lines. And nothing else. You would have to gear Rosa back out. This can cause some problems, as you'll see in a few seconds. But uh, as much as I like the healing staff, we're going to give her a great bow. And we're going to equip her with some arrows. Let's give her... Um... Fire arrows. We're also going to equip her with the gold hairpin because, hey, Rosa can actually use it. <laughs> Seven defense, ten magic defense, and half lightning damage, if you don't remember. Plus, it's way better than the wizard's hat. Uh, Defense-wise, just all the way around, it's better than the wizard's hat. So give her that. Uh, that's the reason I was saving the sage's surplus, but since she already had one, um, well, there went that. And I was going to give her a ruby ring, but hey, now I have a silver armlet. She can wear that, I suppose. Okay, um, good to go, I think. Pretty sure. Uh, also, as you can see, Cecil's not at full MP. You don't get, like, get a full here or anything. Now, that guillotine is very vicious. That's way more vicious than the uh, SNES version. Uh, the SNES version, it looked like just a boulder was going to fall on her. Which, again, is very gruesome. It's a good thing that uh, our hero, and, of course, if you can't tell, they're definitely in love with each other, uh, Cecil uh, saves Rosa, which is awesome. I always really enjoyed that. The uh, paladin coming to the uh, aid of the white mage. Literally, the knight in shining armor. I uh, always enjoyed that. Rosa isn't uh, leveled very high. She's only level 26. But she is packing her usual white magic spells that are going to save the party. <laughs> so, while, of course, Cecil gets to act as the knight in shining armor, and I love that. That's one part of me. The other part of me is she's the healer. We know who's who really is going to save the party at the end of the day. <laughs> Two of my favorite characters get together, and I love it. Cecil and Rosa. So, with that, when you take a step forward... Oh, wow. They changed it. Great. I actually like that. Had we arrived but a moment later, this blade would have fallen already. Where are you? There you are. Uh, in the SNES version, it was literally a step, if I remember correctly. Which is why I said, don't move an inch. <laughs> It seems I underestimated you. I not have thought you strong enough to wound Lord Golbez. Everybody's like, huh? Babarisha, one of Golbez's elemental archfiends. 
Hi. Kane, so you've betrayed us. And with all that strength, too. Such a waste. I've betrayed no one. I've returned to my senses. And you've grown arrogant as well, I see. I should have killed you and Rosa both when I first had the chance. But that old wizard of yours is gone now, and Meteor with him. Allow me to amend my past mistakes. You're welcome to try. You're not the only one who can ride the wind. And this is where Kane gets to shine. Boss battle! The elemental archfiend of wind. Or air. Whichever one you prefer to call it. Okay. This fight is very interesting. You'll want Kane to jump. A lot. As you can see, Barbarisa can counter with the lightning spell, which hurts. Target all. Barbarisa has this move where she surrounds herself in in a tornado. If you attack while she is in said tornado, one, you have a 0% chance to hit. It's no use. The wind shields her on all sides. You can't do anything. Only jump attacks can reach her directly. Uh, in the old versions, they would say, uh, the characters would say, Kane, jump! You know, telling Kane to jump. I don't even think we can analyze, of course. Maybe it'll let me see her weakness. That'd be awesome. Couldn't analyze. Yeah. Uh, her weakness is the very wind that she has, which is very interesting. Tornado! Tornado is a dangerous spell that knocks a character down to uh, single-digit HP. Once you knock her out, thanks to Kane, you can continue your assault. And that's how this fight is going to go. Keep everybody healthy. It can be uh, tricky to do with Kane because Kane jumps a lot. Uh, shell. That's the other thing I need to do. White magic. Ow. Counterattack! Yeah, and you can't counter that. Kira. Uh, Rosa is going to be pivotal in this battle to keep everybody's HP, you know, up. <laughs> uh, shell will help a lot as well. Now everybody should have Shell as well. Uh, Cecil can also cast Cure to uh, help out Rosa. The counter lightning is annoying. Oh, Kane, how'd you miss? That knocked you out too, didn't it? Yep. And I need a Phoenix Tower. Wait for Rosa. Cure. So we'll cure everybody. You're really going to need to keep your your HP up here. Yay, tornado! Oh, you would do it to Kane, who is about to jump. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Remember, Kane can't be hit while he's jumping either, so there is that to help you out. Hopefully, have you, hopefully you have some potions along as well to also help out. You're basically on Kane's marks. The other thing that she cast is, as you can see, is a Stone Touch, which will gradually petrify a character. Kane, jump! Hit, hit. And we're gonna have Rosa pray. Uh, mainly to get MP back. There we 
go. Go ahead, get in that tornado form. Gonna knock you out of it. Actually, I should be doing this. I should have it be I should be having Yang focus. Uh, Phoenix down, gold, needle, needle. I don't know if that'll get rid of the petrify. Hit. When Cecil turns to stone, I know it will. Hit! And just keep this up. This is what you're going to be doing. You can focus with Yang. Ah, missed. And you're going to be jumping, you're going to be uh, jumping with Kane. I think you can focus three times, I believe, is what, what I was told. Counter lightning! Jay, thanks for knocking Sid out. Sid is going to have a really tough time here. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And Sid doesn't get any of the EXP. Well, that's a shame. Charge up with Yang and then make that hit count. Uh, you can have Cecil and Rosa on healing duty. Hi, Kane. <laughs> Kane just jumps down. And of course, you're going to need Kane to keep jumping. Just have him keep jumping. That way, in case she's in the tornado form, Kane can knock her out of it. Like you said, not the only one that can ride the wind. And Cecil levels up, right? And Rosa levels up. Oh, one speed. I'll take that. Traitor! You may have bested me, but the last of the four remains. And think about it, we have beaten three of the four now. Not that you ever leave this tower alive to meet him! <laughs> the tower is collapsing! She left us no escape. I don't like this one bit. Everyone, gather near. <laughs> Teleport! Or in the old versions, exit! And what would happen is she would become the party leader because not everybody is in a line like they are here. You only see the party leader on the map screen. So literally, she would like become the party leader and... Uh, cast exit and leave, which was really cool. Uh, thanks, Rosa, for saving all of us. We're in your bedchamber in Baron. Should be safe enough here now that the imposter's gone. Cecil, there's something you must know. What would that be? It's about the remaining crystals. Cain, we've lost the Earth Crystal. Gobes holds all of them now. Yep, he has uh, water, fire, uh, air, and earth now. So, yeah. No, he holds four. You mean to say there are more? Come to think of it, I've heard tales of others. You speak of the dark crystals. I do. The four of this world are crystals of light. And for every light, there is a shadow cast. Then the dark crystals are real? Quite. Golbez holds but half of the crystals. But even if the tales are true, how would be able to find them? No doubt we would not. But Golbez already has. Then we must reach them before he does! Where are they hidden? Where the name implies the deep, dark bowels of the Underworld. The Underworld? How are we supposed to get there? Start digging? <laughs> yes. No. Yeah, no. Please, there is more. He said when all of the crystals were gathered, the way to the moon would be opened. The way to the moon? 
I understand it no more than you, but he said that this was the key. Obtained Magma Stone. Now, it was interesting when he said that this was the key. You literally got a key. It was the Magma Key. It had the key symbol in the old games, which was funny. You literally had the key. Huh. Oh, wow, he's actually holding it. That's cool. A stone. There is a place where it must be offered, and doing so will open a path to the underworld. A place? But where? That much I do not know. What's to worry about? We've got the Enterprise! Now I'm gonna let that sink in for a second. Got the Enterprise, but it was at the tower. You know, the tower that collapsed slash exploded slash ripped to pieces, whatever happened to it. Yeah, everybody's like, we have five circles around the world in the blink of an eye! Sid, the Enterprise is still at the Tower of Zod. The gold Sid's gone all senile on ya, eh? I told ya, didn't I? The Enterprise is strides beyond these other ships. I've already flown her back to Baron by remote control. Huh, super handy. Thanks, Sid. Then I believe our course of action is decided. I don't know what we'd do without you, Sid. <laughs> Me neither. Guess we'll live, leave in the morning then. No better way to start searching for an entrance to the underworld than with a night, sound night's sleep. But I wonder, what made Gobez falter? Is something the matter? No, it's nothing. We should get some rest. Alright, best be on our way. The Underworld? But how can we get there? I never dreamed there was another world beneath the surface of ours. Now. Uh, good thing that I actually know where you need to go. But, if this is your first time playing through Final Fantasy IV, this is where exploration really kicks in. You have to travel around the world, going to different places, trying to find this interest to the underworld. It was... It wasn't so... annoying back then. You think, oh, that sounds really annoying. But... It was actually fun. It was fun to, to fly around in the airship and... You know, it's like, oh, I haven't visited this place. Let's try here. It was fun to fly around and explore. Dark crystals resting beneath the earth? Where did I hear about that? Forget the name. Aga something. Thanks for giving away a clue, Sid. You didn't have that back then. <laughs> Golpez, you will rue the day. Uh-oh. Kane's not happy. Didn't even use the great bow. She has to heal a lot. This is why you'll want to keep the healing staff around. <laughs> okay. Aim, pray, white magic items. I give Rosa recall. That'd be hilarious. Okay. Uh, did you learn anything? Was, no, what it said you learned something. Now you're back in Baron Castle. All you have to do is walk outside, and you'll see the airship. No problem. And per usual, you can always come back here and rest. Hi. Lord Captain, I almost did not recognize you. You look as striking as a king. Well, I mean, he is a paladin now. Praise be, you're alive. All the soldiers that weren't monsters. Damn, if only we had an airship. The Red Wings are no more. Golbez has stolen our entire fleet. Darn, so no help from them. Lord Captain, you've returned. And none too soon. His Majesty is dead, and Baron will surely have no man but you to lead it in its place. Everybody's going to support Cecil because A, they highly respected him to begin with. And B, now that he's a paladin, they look even more up to him. Plus, they're like, okay, we know we can trust you. It would help if I would, you know, 
kind of go the right way. <laughs> to get out of the castle. Hey, you can talk to various guards and kind of get the same... Uh, get the same message that everybody's talking about. Unfortunately, you're not going to get any help from them. They don't have an airship. Only we do. It's a shame, I know. Never in my darkest dreams did I imagine that a monster sat the throne. And there's the Enterprise, just waiting for you. Now again, this is where the exploration part of the game would take place, but we don't have to worry about that. What I'm going to do next time is meet you at the place you're supposed to go. Until then, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We had a lot of fun. Uh, rest in peace, Tella. And we'll do our best to uh, make his wish come true. So, until then, we begin our hunt for the Dark Crystals. I'm Sindre9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.